Okay, welcome back. So, we are gonna go to the Rust Wells now. I think I'm just gonna do overland travel, or maybe not. Maybe I actually want to find stuff on the way. Yeah, let's let's just uh, do it this way. And boop, let's do a walk over there. That's also something that I kind commenter, which I'm a bit of a dingus because I totally forgot who that was. But uh, I think it was Jeff. I don't know. Um, yeah. Ooh, the elves actually, they are neutral, at least. He has a Puma Chitin vest. Oh, that's interesting. He has a lot of interesting stuff, but I'm not gonna mess with those guys. Albino Ape. And they actually, actually count as easy, but... Ah, I'm not. I don't want. Loved by the villagers of Kia Kukia. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to mess with these guys. We're gonna leave them alone. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, that kind commenter um, reminded me of. Yeah, you can just press W and walk automatically if you want to do that. So you don't actually need to just hold it down all the time. And that's actually quicker to do. Well, that's good. <coughs> the salt hopper here. I'm going to take it out, even though it's not hostile. And that will get us some food. Some food and a little bit of experience. Yeah, 112. That's actually not that bad. The weird grove of trees over the Tari Desert. There's a bunch of snap jaws, so yeah, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna go through the through the canyons manually because of stuff like this. You know, you can actually. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus fucking cough. Um, we we are not gonna um, get much experience from it, I guess, but this might actually net us a few, you know, see this, a few beaded bracelets and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we wanna, we wanna be as wealthy as possible, because sometimes you can buy cool stuff. And you know, more painted stuff, Bath Ripur the second. Decisive victory against the combined forces of Tugamur at the bloody battle of Dararuk. As a result of the battle, Dararuk was so bristling with carnivorous geodes that it was renamed Glittering Rack. Aha! Uh -huh. We discovered the location of Tugamur. That must now be on the map somewhere. But I don't actually see where it is. Tugamur. That, that is... I discovered the location, that means it has to be here. But... I can't see it right now. Might be over here or something? I don't know. It might be this? I think this is actually something else, but... Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't know. And the first thing that we have to do is this, but... Uh, Oh. Yeah, I don't. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. That's okay for now. Maybe I'm gonna <coughs> take another look once I'm not recording or something. But uh, hmm. so we have a quest now: visit Tugamore, historical site of Tugamore. And we have two historical sites: Hagakish Forum and Tugamore. We know of one more, that is knee pad. Um, but you know, I don't know where to find that. Probably have to look at some more painted stuff to find that out at some point, I guess. But uh, yeah, the two, the two sites that we have now, that is certainly interesting. Let's kill the chameleon. Oops, there's a lot of... A lot of garbage going on here. Jesus. Or rather, a lot of dragonflies. Which translates to garbage as well, of course. They are fighting the glow moths. It's all a big mess. Okay. Let's keep going through the canyons. We definitely need some better weapons at some point. Um, because our steel mace... Not really... 
really trust that thing anymore. I'm not gonna attack the Equimaxes, by the way. These are way too many. And uh, I don't want to get stun locked here. So, I... <coughs> kind of scared. Scared of that. I'm not gonna do it. We can do it another way. We can get the level ups another way. Maybe at some point, once we're in the jungle, I'm gonna try to take out all these goat folk, for example. Okay, we're in the plains. I think we might actually be almost there. Yes, we are. But let's try to find... Hey, you. Let's try to find... The rust wells. There we are! Yeah, that went, that went well. That was pretty easy. Let's see if we can find... The wire strands. Another copper nugget. Definitely gonna pick up. Okay, there's probably one wire strand up here somewhere. Let's take a look around. Also, Kudzus here, which I'm not a big fan of, I must say. Oops. I think I destroyed something. I destroyed a shotgun shell. Well, that's a... Rather stupid. Die, shotgun shell! Okay, there's a kudzu. Yeah, let's stay away from these things. Leeches. Okay, dread root. There we go. That's the wire strand for this. Let's go down to get the other ones. Let's go down. This should be rather easy, actually. Rust wells. Do you have anything interesting? No, you don't. Oh, there are bloody stairs. Bloody stairs up. This probably looks interesting. Hey, wire strand again. Just need to find our way down now. I hate dread roots. I mean, they are not dangerous or anything, but uh. Uh, ah, oh, is everywhere. I don't like that. Okay, it at least did not attack me. Steel arrows and vine wafers. Gonna get those. You guys are gonna stay over here and do your stuff. Boom rose arrows, okay. Um, let's go down. <coughs> hey, mothworms. What do we have here? Leather, leather armor, furs, lacquered. Wasn't there anything? And there's something engraved over here. Let's see if we can actually get that. Where is it? There it, there it is. How can you engrave a cloth robe? That's interesting. Kakash Den. Insect and Panda historical account. Okay, that was another polish here thing. That did not give us any location of anything. We have 150 feet now, we just need to find one more wire strand. Giant, <laughs> the giant amoeba killed a spark tick. Kudzu's everywhere. You're gonna attack the kudzu? No. This kudzu does not seem to be... No! The wire strand rusted. Okay, does that still... I don't know if that actually... That actually still is a thing. Eh, hey, water skin with a bunch of fresh water. Maybe I should actually go to another rust well. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I should just use my, um... My gun to destroy them. Why am I not thinking straight? Yes, that works. Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. Okay. Slug snout. Get your ass over here. Get stunned, son. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the revolver is good. It's good news against those. Come on. Yes. Some stuff here. Oh dear. Hello. 
gives us a bit of experience here, yeah? all those mouth ones. Gained a level, good. So, um, what did I want to get, actually? I'd get endurance. I'd get a bunch of block stuff, staggering block. Strength. The stunned. Oh, well, that's actually... Well, we're gonna, we're gonna wait for that. That means... Because we're gonna block attacks from time to time. And, uh, yeah. That's good news. If we had that. You know, the more we can stun, the better, I guess. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Bloody trash, indeed. It's all a bunch of bloody trash. Okay. Let's see if we can find more wire strands over here. That spark, oh yeah, the spark ticks are actually not hostile. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna kill them anyways, but um, if we can make them help us in dicey situations, it's also good. There's a horned chameleon. Let's kill that thing. Yes, indeed. Okay. Another wire strand. Okay, the, the rusting of the wire did not actually do anything. <clears throat> The Rusting of the Wire is my new book. More Mirthworms. They seem to be spawning from somewhere or something. Okay. I mean, I, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna kill those. So, we finished the wire thing. So, how about we go back to Joppa now? Oh no. Ah. Okay. How about we go back to Joppa now? And we're gonna do that via overland travel. So, where am I? Over there. Okay. Hey Argive, I got your stuff. Now we got the Joppa recoiler. We have a few cells, so that's good. Let's get this stuff. And now we are done down here. Which is great. So we have now the Joppa recoiler. We can go back here whenever we need. Um. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go north. We're probably gonna go to Gridgate. I'm gonna go to the jungle town as well, but I'm going to be extra careful about these areas here yeah? because, you know, you remember what happened last time. Um, yeah, that's the plan, I guess. I think I'm going to maybe, we're gonna go here first, but then I'm going to go to this. We don't need to rush it to Gridgate, I think. Um, there was also one commenter has said something about um, that if you talk to these guys before, uh, if you if you don't mention Argive, but if you mention the Elder first, you can actually go in and uh, talk to the to the merchant and uh, barter with with him or her. I don't remember quite, but uh, that's actually also a thing that we should do at some point. So let's go here and let's go north from here. So I don't know. I kind of want to see if uh, once we are in the once we are in, in the jungle town if we can get maybe another recoiler from there. And also I want to see like that's actually I kind of knew that from way back then the way that um, there is a town with a guy that will help you get rid of diseases. And uh, one commenter, in a slight spoiler, but uh, it's okay, said that that's actually the elder of the jungle town. I think the elder, or someone else, but someone in jungle town. So, if we... Yeah, that would also be interesting to find out how that exactly works. Maybe we cannot, because uh, unless we actually have a disease, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> just in case that, I mean, it will probably happen again, if we get glot rot or fungi or something else, so, uh, yeah, maybe that will actually be helpful in terms of that. Okay, let's keep going. There's one single Aquamax. You know what? I'm gonna try it. 
going to try to... Oh no, there's another one. Uh, no, I've probably fucked up. I'm stunned for the turn. Yes, indeed. And I fucked up. I fucked up. I should not have done this. I know better. I know better than this. Okay. Um... Okay, let's try to get away. Let's try to get away, 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 away. I'm stunned for the turn. I'm stunned for the fucking turn. I should not have done this. I should not have done this. Ah, I'm so terrible. I know better. I know better. <sighs> okay, um, so much for that. That was un anticlimactic. That was the stupidest thing ever. I, oh, God. Um, well... Yeah, I'm I'm really sorry. That was not I should not have. That was horrible. Ah, and so avoidable. I know better and I still did it. Jesus Christ. No. The next as I said, the next character that I'm going to play is a uh, <laughs> is the mental man. So I did this thing, I went with agility, willpower, toughness, intelligence, and ego. Um, I maybe have to adjust some stuff there. Like, slightly higher agility is not bad, actually. Because we're probably going, going to shoot a lot. You know what? I think I'm going to recreate this character from scratch. But I don't want to dump strength as much. Maybe get it as high as 16. Um, this here, this here. Oh no, this is not good. I'm going to keep Ego at 24. That is important. Yeah, this is not not too great, I must say. Hmm. Go with strength rather than agility. I'm going to go with agility rather than strength. Because um, I took, uh, basically took that took that away from toughness, which is also not great. Your slightly lower ego, maybe. Like this. Now let's try it like this. Whatever. <coughs> I'm gonna go mainly, um, again, I'm gonna go mainly with, uh, with guns, so agility is better than strength, I guess. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna get? We are going to definitely get light manipulation. It hasn't changed in any way, hasn't it? No, it didn't. Um, we are gonna get, well, this integration is nice, but it has a really high cooldown, cryokinesis. Mm -hmm. Clairvoyance, yeah, clairvoyance was nice. Uh, temporal time dilation, teleport, teleportation, yeah, would also be nice. Telepathy, Sunder mind. Has a high cooldown though. Stunning force. Space time vortex. Hmm. Sense psychic. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know what I'm gonna do. What's the psycho psychometry? Oh yeah, that's what's that. Precognition. Mm hmm. Metal mass mind. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to get fourth wall. That was important. Domination would be interesting. 
Um, domination would be interesting. Confused. Not completely implemented at the moment, yeah. Well, I mean, I think I'm going to go with this again. I'm going to have clairvoyance. Telepathy, no. Teleport other. Teleport other would be nice. Or, you know, ego projection is also nice. You know what? I'm gonna get teleport other. We can maybe use that to get rid of a bunch of dudes. Uh, and I'm going to be the apostle. What's the name? Egon the... The... Um... Dear me. I totally... Um, I don't know. Okay, well, let's go again. We're gonna do the preliminary, the blah 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 blah, the preliminary. Jesus Christ, the preliminary stuff before anything else. Feathered cloth rope. Cool. Copper nugget, wooden arrow, water skin. I don't know, am I going to go for dodge value? Probably, right? Probably gonna go for dodge value rather than rather than armor. Strange tubes, it's a metal folding chair. Heirlooms of cud. Attachment to physical objects is a peculiar phenomenon. Catalog of these preferences for posterity. Preferences are certain, certain preferences are held by the myriad factions of Kurd for certain types of items. This is interesting. So they have and they have preferences for items, but I don't know what the significance of that is, but it is certainly interesting. Okay. Sure. Hey man, it's me again. Just going to rob your thing. <laughs> Carbide plate armor. You're kidding me. Um. Okay. So what we're gonna do is nothing right now. <laughs> we're gonna sell two short bows. Uh, well, now we now find ourselves again in that stupid position of not being able to do much, to carry much. Let's get rid of that staff. Okay. I wonder if this guy has a glow sphere again. Let's see. Yes, he has. He always has. With a high ego, we can actually buy that thing. We can have all the torches for that. Okay. And uh, let's get all the vine wafers. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, extinguish, remove. We're gonna put a glow sphere here. Oops, light source, there we are. Glow sphere. Yes. Great. Hello, Argive. Give me your quest. You're gonna get a metal folding chair. You're not gonna get the other quest, I know. And let's take a look at the thing. It's Djamed, the pest of Kazor. While visiting an obscure college in Pond District Damu, Djamed met with a group of philosophers and commissioned a philosophy that, invoke, that evoked the presence of a mighty hammer. He named it Hammericus. Okay, so we're probably going to find a hammer there. The pond of... No, oh, it's over there. It's not that far away. <clears throat> so, the laser is going to go on one. We're gonna... 
Oops. We're gonna turn off the ambient light, actually. We don't. I, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna do fourth wall on two, teleport other on three. Going to put clairvoyance on four. Sprint is five, okay. We're gonna do proselytize on six. Do intimidate on seven. I don't know. Let's see if we can proselytize someone. I'm convinced. Whoop. Unconvinced, of course. Probably one of these guys who is perpetually unconvinced. Maybe you. You have a different sprite. Doesn't seem that way. Oh yeah! That worked. Now, I totally forgot how you can rename them. How could you do that? I, I don't remember. Oh yeah, like this. Give items attack target, yeah. Rename! Oops, no, I did not want to do that. Oops. Rename. Enter a name. Enter a name. I'm gonna be Jeff. Okay. So, let's start going. We're gonna be... We're gonna start with the, with the usual beginning thing. The thing is, we are extremely... I mean, we're Egon the Flimsy, right? We're not... We're extremely fragile at the moment. So we have to be really careful about this. Um, there's a crocodile. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. So let's laser the crocodile. Yes, that worked. Um, we're just gonna try to... Get some starter experience. Yeah, like this. You are injured. So let's take this a little slower until we can. Okay, he leveled up. That's good. Let's try to keep this guy alive somehow. And uh, yeah, because of the overlay UI, we actually now can see whether we have charges or charges or not. We don't have to go into the menu every time, which is quite nice. So I'm just gonna take out these dragonflies here, which isn't the most fun thing to do, but yeah. Uh, again, we're going to save up the mutation points. We're not going to put them into anything here. We have plus four right now. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe hmm, leaving that one point in ego. I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of that. We definitely need to get these mutations as high as possible by leveling up. So that we are not really all that dependent on... On weapons because we're kind of terrible at it that's the problem iron short sword I'm going to put that on right now strength bonus yeah it's all it's all dependent on strength might actually hmm casual toughness shield tactics short blade <laughs> we could just get short blade expertise to just have a little bit plus two hit on there. Yeah, that's probably the best for now. Can we get cool stuff in persuasion? Yes, we can. Menacing stare. Erate. Snake oiler. We're probably going to get all, all of those. Okay. But before we can uh, we can plan that, we just have to... We have to get better at stuff. And I totally forgot again that I wanted to stop playing. Long time ago, actually. Oops. So 
Follow me, follow me. Okay. Yep. We have to be careful here. Especially not to get our buddy here murdered. Rest up, and yeah, I'm going to stop here. See you again next time. Bye.